What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Uh, here we have here The Last of Us Part 2, the Rat King portion. Now this is actually my first walkthrough of this game. I've been hearing a lot of uh, speculations regarding the Rat King. I've actually looked up a few pictures and a few thumbnails and uh, this thing looks absolutely wicked. Whatever the hell this thing is. So apparently everybody's saying it's supposed to be the biggest boss or one of the most uh, hardest bosses in this game to actually play through or actually beat uh, but I'm gonna get a first person perspective and an actual visual shortly um, obviously I'm just going through the uh, ground zero labs right now I'm just making my way through this is absolutely crazy scenery in this game right here um, big fan of the first uh, part uh, Last of Us, the first part, and definitely a continued fan of The Last of Us Part 2. I've definitely enjoyed this game thus far, um, just from the graphics, um, just the gameplay, the whole storyline. It's definitely one of those games you can fall in love with and play over and over and over again. Um, the only thing I didn't like is the fact that Joel actually got killed off at the beginning of this uh, sequel from the original. But then again, it does make sense. Um, he did kill Abby's dad, which was the doctor in the first one. Um, so I can kind of understand the anger and how the whole storyline is set up. Well, it looks here that I got a few uh, clickers here I'm going to take out shortly. Um, as you can see from my arsenal, I do have the infinite ammo and I got everything maxed out to 100%. And that was other, another good thing I liked about this with The Last of Us Part 2. Instead of using any mods for the PS4, um, well, this is actually on PS5 for 4, uh, 4K I'm playing now. But the cool thing is it has in-game modification. It has in-game um, different graphic uh, mods you can do, unlimited ammo, uh, unlimited silent mode unlimited uh, crafting skills and things like that which is pretty good it's pretty cool so I'm definitely definitely digging that um, no complaints there I'm just loving it so uh, I'm just gonna go through here take these uh, clickers out let me see here I am not gonna mess with this dude in the wall here I'm not gonna disrupt that the hell with that but see, when I go through through The Last of Us, the way I like to play is I'm more like stealth mode. See, I'm one of those uh, gamers that comes in and I like throwing bombs or grenades from a distance. Just taking them out one by one. He's loving here. So what do we have here? Or Manny. Let me follow this uh, yeah. power Manny. line. Manny would have been great. All right, so let me, I guess I got to restore power and get everything turned back on from the generator. I don't know if I need to craft anything here. I'm pretty loaded and pretty stocked up so far as gear. But just look at the details, man. This is amazing. It's like the only other game that actually allows you to have that much detail in crafting your um, your arsenal is Days Gone, in which I would definitely do a uh, walkthrough and a review of that game in a later video. Because that's another amazing open world like zombie apocalypse type game all right so this looks like i got something going here let me go back over here and see what i missed i'm kind of excited you know i'm looking forward to see what this rat king has got <laughs> hearing all this talk about this bad boy apparently it's supposed to be like a whole bunch of clickers and just zombies or whatever you call them just all mixed in together clumped up from over years and years and years of the outbreak and the virus just corroding and just taking effects on the human body all right let me go through here and see what we got going on. okay all right okay there we go all right oh shit okay let me creep down on these fools real quick. See, that's what I'm talking about. I, I just like throwing bombs and blowing their ass up. 
Yes. Uh-huh. Just all the bloods and guts bursting out everywhere. I mean, the hell with that firefight stuff. I just like blowing shit up, man. I think I got all of them. I hear a few that more. Make things easier. Up. And where the fuck are these medical supplies? I would have to say, by far, this is probably the most creepiest part of the game. Going through this ground zero laboratory. I'm just not gonna mess with dude over there. I, mean, I don't think it's. Wait a minute. Dude just comes out of nowhere. Okay. I totally missed that. I'm just gonna grab a few items here. Load up on my supplies, because I have no idea what this Rat King is about. But we're gonna see shortly. So you can just tell everything is building up. You know, from the point that she comes into the laboratory, you can just tell, you know, the excitement, the tension is rising. So I don't know if this thing is gonna pop out the wall. Or, you know, if I gotta go through a few more portions of this uh, stage of the game to unlock something to get to them. But honestly, this is my first walkthrough of this level of actually playing um, the Rat King. So. I did make a uh, original video of this a uh, few months back. I did decide to take it down and totally uh, re-edit it and actually continue on to get to the portion of the Rat King instead of making a part two because I don't think that's it's necessary um, to make a part one and a part two. I might just have the whole kit and caboodle all in one video uh, with commentary to add. So, I really don't need any supplies. I mean, I'm fully loaded on everything. I got the modifiers on, so we should be good to go. All right, come on. Let me get the gear real quick. Come on now. So I'm just, like, creeping, like, okay, what is going to come out? What's going to jump at me? Like, what's going on here? Oh shit! What? Like, did this thing like come out of that? Damn. Apparently. Okay. It's like as if, you know, killing the bloaters isn't enough. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, this is this is gonna be an epic battle right here. It's gonna be a totally epic battle. So right here is where I started to edit. Obviously, um, there's kind of like two portions of this. So like I said, instead of making two, like a part one and a part two, I might as well go ahead and put everything together. Keep it all in one nice formatted video for you guys to actually review and enjoy. All right, so. That's enough to skip a heartbeat right there. <laughs> right, let me get up in here. See what we got going on. Okay. Apparently, she's supposed to be getting this antidote or whatever the hell it is. And that's the whole point of her coming in here and going through. Okay. All right. Get ready to celebrate. Holy shit. I just heard something. See, now this is way too creepy, man. It's like, just sense that something's gonna pop out of nowhere. All right, where the hell is this bad boy at? Yeah, he's coming. Oh, shit! Damn! Now I see what everybody is saying. I now see what all the fuss is. Let me get the hell up out of here. That is one big bad boy. Clearly, clearly it's gonna take more bullets to take me. Yeah, let me hit it, man. Like, I'm not even, I'm pretty sure, like, 
through the sequence, if you do not hit every single button correctly, he's gonna grab you and you an automatic KO. Come on, girl, get up over those uh, beds. Let's get through. This is freaking crazy. Like, could you imagine being in a situation like that? I, I, I don't know, I, I freak out. I totally, totally freak the hell out. All right. Oh, shit. Dude, you just have a backpack, man. Like, I'm not even playing. Yeah, that's a bad boy right there. All right. All right. Let me get through. I don't know, like, how long I gotta keep running from this dude. This freak of nature. Rack. It's like, oh, shit. All right. Damn. Like, 20 clickers just combined together. All right. All right, so this is obviously going to be the battle. You know what? I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to light this dude up. I'm just going to give him a... Yes, I'm just going to give him the flamethrower. Oh, shit. So they just come out? They just break apart? So I got to kill clickers and the wrecks? Man, dude, I'm just going to light it up. That's it? Seriously, bro. That is it? So the flame floor is that of so that's it? That is the that's all the excitement? I just hit him with the flamethrower and that's it. I'm thinking like I gotta throw bombs and uh, I'm just gonna clear this out. Obviously that clicker is creeping around now, man. It's just taking me out. That's it? Oh my god. Like I was thinking there's gonna be more than that, but not much for a fight for all that running and <laughs> trying to wedge through doors and all that extra, man. That is it. Well, maybe it's just because I have the flamethrower. And probably if you go through this game without these modifiers, you're going to have the regular uh, shotgun rounds and assault rifles. You're going to have to use that in conjunction to the bombs and the fire, the fire and everything else. So I'm assuming you're running around and the thing is chasing you or whatever. I can't believe that was it. Like, I just took him out that quick. Wow, I cannot say I'm uh, too impressed, but I guess that's pretty much it. Well, well that do definitely does wrap up the video, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Definitely smash that like button. Uh, do subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely be putting up more content, more tutorials on uh, exclusive games to come later on this year for PS5. And uh, as always, till next time, guys, stay cool. Peace.